P. Good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. I'm Jason Wilson, J. Wilson, Instagram and Twitter, jwill07. And I'm here today to give you the State of the Hobby 2014. And this is no game. This is serious. The first thing I want to talk about is cost. Fish cost. The rising fish cost. And it is rapid. And it needs to stop. I look online, the average cost for a show male African cichlid is around $48. That's my average. That needs to stop. I don't mind paying that if it's a beautiful fish. I see some $60, $70. The way this economy is going, it's a no-go. So do your research when you go online and you're purchasing fish. Reach out to your local fish store. Purchase fish from them. I highly encourage you to purchase fish online because you have a wider array of species and places to get fish. Not just African cichlids, but fish in general. So I'm not saying not purchase online. What I'm saying is do your homework. Just because you see one doesn't mean that that is the only one. There are a ton and ton of places to purchase fish online. Which brings me to local fish stores. They are a dying breed, people. A dying breed. But why? Because of big box retailers and online warehouses. Because we want things so cheap because this hobby is so expensive. An HOB AquaClear 110 is $100? I can go online and get something cheaper. I understand all these things. I can't change them. <laughs> Neither can you. But what we can do is we can do our homework as what I said about the fish. Do your research. If there is a local fish store, I do encourage you to pay a couple extra dollars more to, to purchase from your local fish store. Build that relationship, build that rapport, get that customer service from your local fish store. If it's a few extra miles out of the way, I'm gonna be that advocate and say your local fish store needs you. I'm not, now again, I'm not saying don't shop online, don't shop at the big box stores. What I'm saying is check out your local fish store. They may have some things that you didn't know was there. This hobby is expensive, and it bothers me a lot. It doesn't need to be this expensive. Costs just keep driving the lot. Like I said in the beginning, fish, $60, $70 for a fish? What? I, I decided to go African cichlids because salt water was too expensive. Good grief. Wake up, people. Wake up. I'm here to change that. I'm gonna do my research, and I'm gonna find the most beautiful fish at a reasonable price. Because I joined this community, not a lot of money, but I joined this community because I wanted some camaraderie, I wanted a, a new avenue of friends, and I believe it's working. I'm building a rapport on YouTube. You guys are making a lot of fun of me, which I do appreciate. And I thought it wouldn't be as expensive to do African cichlids. I probably should have did a 150-gallon saltwater tank. Boy, was I wrong. This thing is so expensive, and it doesn't have to be. Do your research. That's the state of the hobby. It's expensive. It's frustrating at times, but it is rewarding. But with all the things, it does require a lot of hard work and a lot of research. New stuff comes out every day. Do not believe everything you hear, everything you see. It's not always true. 
So I encourage you, don't just listen to everything you hear. Do your research. Double, triple check. Sometimes less is more. Where do we go from here? I don't know. Hopefully lower costs. Hopefully we get some new breeders out there. I mean, you can go to a hatchery and get fish for $12, $6. And then they're $80. Let's stand for something. I want beautiful fish, but I don't want to pay Lamborghini prices. Let's get that message across, YouTube. Let's get it across. Now, I want to give some shout outs. There's a lot of DIY going around. The DIY king's out there and he's producing a lot of great ideas. But I see a lot of filters being made. I see a lot of algae scrubbers being made, egg tumblers, LED lights, tanks. Let's keep that going in this community. I want to give a shout out to Fired Up Aquatics, Southern Delight, Northfin, our neighbors to the north. I thank you. I encourage you to keep doing what you're doing because we need more entrepreneurs like you in this community. Because hopefully, if we get more competitive entrepreneurs like you in this community, it will drive costs in other areas down. So I thank you. And I encourage anybody who's starting a planet tank or is looking for another food to try out any one of those three that I just mentioned. Together we can achieve great things in YouTube, in our community. So like, comment, ask questions. You don't have to focus in on one avenue. Many different people can come together to create a solution. Some people have issues with disliking. I noticed it around the YouTube community. They're having issues with the dislike button. As the state of the hobby, what is the dislike button for? Hate is gonna hate. I tried to get Jay-Z and Beyonce to come up here and sing a song about the dislike button, but I couldn't afford them. So, I'm gonna talk about it. The dislike button does nothing. You can click dislike all you want on the state of the hobby addressed this evening. I don't care because it doesn't do anything for me. But I encourage you to like, share, and comment throughout this community. As the Rick said, we need to create this hobby on YouTube to be the greatest hobby on YouTube, the greatest community. So I leave you with this. Continue to share your videos. Continue to produce them. Continue to like. Continue to Instagram. Continue to tweet. Continue to Facebook. Continue to make this hobby what it is. Drive costs down. Make fish better. Make food even more nutritious for our fish. Make innovative projects. And YouTube just make things so much better for 2014. I thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to the state of the hobby in 2014. Look forward to more contests from my channel. Look forward to more great things in 2014. Thank you so much. And God bless this community. God bless fish. God bless America.